Where is your favorite place to go grocery shopping? Because I think for me, I have a favorite place back home in the Pacific Northwest. I love Fred Meyer. There's no store like it. But here in Florida, we've had to figure out our favorite routine and where we like to go grocery shopping. It's so true. It is true. Today, we're gonna show you our favorite grocery store in Florida and show you our grocery routine, where we get groceries, how we do it, where we can find the best deals, show you some of the prices you could expect to find here in Florida. Let's go do this, come along. We are starting our day off right here at Publix. Publix is one of the grocery stores that we like to go to. It's probably my favorite grocery store here, but it is on the expensive side for a lot of the items, so we'll show you how we Publix. So one of my favorite things about Publix is they have a buy one, get one free offer. So right now, Bubbly Sparkling Waters, which I love, they're BOGO. So you buy one for $4.99, you get one free. That's a pretty good deal. The BOGOs at Publix are the main reason we come here. Ooh, they got BOGO Diet Dr. Pepper. A lot of times they'll have a bunch of the deals out in the front so you can kind of peruse what they have on BOGO during the week. They pretty much have BOGO pasta sauce and pasta noodles pretty frequently, so of, of some variety. So I think we're good on these. We'll have to peruse the aisles and see if there's any other BOGOs we missed. Before we do that, let's stop at the deli because I'm sure you've heard of the famous pub sub, the chicken tender sandwich, the chicken tenders, there's a chicken tender dinner. They are very good. The bakery smells lovely today. Publix also has a British section. And hey look, they have round trees. Caroline and Sean just got us those. And jelly babies, that and sounds Jamie fun. Dodgers. You know <laughs> Tim who likes Tam. jelly babies and jelly dodgers? Who? The doctor. Oh, good to know. Checking out cereal aisle. We did find a BOGO Jeremy might be into. The cereal, the giant boxes of cereal. If you are a couponer, Publix, um, they don't do any kind of rewards card, but you can sign up for an account and you can download digital coupons. So I'm pretty sure there is a coupon for General Mills cereal right now, so you could get the BOGO and use the coupon. So there's that. I think that would make two of these boxes of cereal $4. So that's actually a really good deal. That's two good bucks, deal. two bucks for one of the big family size boxes of General Mills. Now we're gonna take a look at just a few kind of staple things that will compare the prices uh, here at Publix to the next place and then you can compare them to your prices at home. Eggs here are really cheap. Um, like, even here at Publix, 12 eggs, jumbo eggs, $1.25. That is not, you know, extra large, $1.15. Not a bad price. Milk here is on the expensive side, I think, compared to back home, like $3.99 for 2%, whole milk, $3.99 for 1%, and fat-free of a ga for a gallon of the just the generic store brand. They don't have any BOGO deals on milk either, so I think we're gonna skip getting that here because it'll be a little bit more expensive here than where we're going next. We're also gonna skip any like paper towels any kind of beauty and home goods type things are just not going to be a good deal here we don't even usually come down this aisle because it's never never a better deal than other places here we're going to price check a two liter of coke it is actually on sale right now buy two get one free they are 219 each so you save two dollars 19 cents if you buy three Jeremy said they also have 12 packs, buy two, get one free. The 12 packs are $5.79 each. Dang, we don't seem to have very many BOGOs that appeal to us this week. It's kind of a bust, but usually we end up with at least a few BOGOs. I also really like the produce here at Publix. It's not necessarily less expensive than other places, but I think it's a good quality produce here. So many options for carrots. Well, today may have been kind of a bust. We got a couple boxes of cereal and a couple nectarines. Usually this is a little bit better for a turnout for us. All right, on to the next place. We got two boxes of cereal and nectarines, and we got the coupon off the cereal. So the cereal was, yeah, two bucks a box for those big boxes. Sweet. Not bad, not bad. Now we're at Walmart. 
where we do the other half of our grocery shopping. Sometimes we go to Target, but we live closer to a Walmart, so we just end up here usually. Busy day to shop at Walmart. There are like no carts here today. Forgot to get baby kale at Publix. They don't have it here at Walmart. I do have to give a shout out to our friends Kelsey and Corey, KNC Adventures. When we first moved here, they are just two incredibly sweet people and we um, got a little like welcome packet from them and in the welcome packet they said that this is what they do. They come to, they get BOGOs at Publix and then they do the rest of their shopping at like Walmart or Target. So I think we would have adopted that plan at some point but because of them we learned this process quickly. I think the crowdedness of Walmart is stressing Jeremy out. <laughs> Milk is a little less expensive here. Generic brand is $2.79 for a gallon of milk. And depending on which kind of organic milk you get, it's like a dollar or $2 cheaper. It's been a little while since we have moved here, but I remember when we first got into town thinking milk was kind of expensive here in Florida. Most of the groceries are similar, or maybe a little cheaper than back in the Northwest, but the milk, I think, is a little more. Oh yeah, 98 cents for eggs. What a deal. Eggs are definitely cheaper here. It has been a strange adjustment um, that all the eggs mostly come in styrofoam containers still. We haven't had styrofoam containers in the Northwest. I don't know. I don't remember the last time I saw a styrofoam container. And then we moved here and I was like, whoa, they still do this here. Weird. I think the recycling situation in Florida in general is definitely uh, less prominent than it is back home, but that's for a whole different video. Two liter of Cokes are $1.68 here. I already forgot what the price was at Publix, but I think that even with the buy two, get one free, I think this is still cheaper. I don't know, let me know if I'm asked wrong. I lost Jeremy. <laughs> We split up to look for refried beans and I'm not sure they, where they are, where they should be. I found you. They're right there. They are on this aisle. Oh, they are. That's a tiny sad section of them. No wonder we couldn't find them. Hey, you get a high five for finding the beans. That means we're one step closer to getting out of here. Jeremy, it may be crowded today, but at least on the bright side, we get to check out at an actual register. We usually get stuck in line for like 10 or 15 minutes at the self-serve the self -serve, uh, little kiosks, which if you've been to Walmart, I'm sure you can relate. And that's how we grocery shop most weeks. Pretty much how we do it. Usually it doesn't take us as long to find the refried beans though. If you like this video, Please let us know if you want to see more of what our day-to-day -day life is like here in Florida. Leave a comment. Tell us. Thanks for coming along with us. Uh, if you haven't heard our podcast, Who Would Live in Florida, there are links below. There's a corresponding episode uh, where we talk about grocery shopping in that as well if you want to check that out. Thanks. We'll see you soon. Bye. Also. You should probably leave a like on this video to give Jeremy some encouragement because that was some grocery store anxiety if I've ever seen it. <laughs>